when Notre Dame made the trip to New York to play Army at the Polo Grounds in 1924, the Irish backfield was nothing more than some names in the program. But the aftermath of this game was so large, it created a legend that changed Notre Dame football forever. New York Herald Tribune writer Grantland Rice inked what has become one of the classic leads in the history of American sports writing. Outlined against a blue-gray October sky, the four horsemen rode again. In dramatic lore, they are known as famine, pestilence, destruction, and death. These are only aliases. Their real names are Stooldrayer, Miller, Crowley, and Layden. Harry Stooldrayer was a 5'7", 151-pound quarterback. The backfield consisted of 5'11", 169-pound Don Miller, one of the five Miller brothers to play at Notre Dame, Jim Crowley, 5'11", 162, and Elmer Layden, the biggest and fastest of the four, at 6 feet 162 pounds. The four horsemen were really born two years earlier, in November 1922, when senior fullback Paul Kastner broke his hip. The following Monday, Newt Rockney moved Layden, who had been sharing time at halfback, to fullback. From that moment until the Army game in 1924, Notre Dame's record was 12-2. The Irish were severely undersized, even for that era. The four horsemen ran behind a line nicknamed the Seven Mules, none of whom weighed more than 190 pounds. In this game, Layden would score a second quarter touchdown to give Notre Dame a 6-0 lead, and Crowley would score a third quarter touchdown on a 21-yard sweep to make it 13-0 in what would become a 13-7 win. Rice's story said the four horsemen formed the crest of the South Bend Cyclone with a set of backfield stars that ripped and crashed through a strong Army defense. Notre Dame student press assistant George Strickler came up with the idea of photographing the four on horseback, even though none of them knew how to ride. He wired his father, who got four horses, and one of the most famous pictures in history was made. Within a week, the picture was in every paper in the country. All the attention, combined with the fact that the Irish won the rest of their games, led to Notre Dame riding the wave of the four horsemen to winning the school's first ever national championship.